<laughs> hey, travelers. I'm all by myself, and we kind of figured that this might happen one week. So I had to really go to the uh, the cellar and figure out what am I going to do this week instead of talking beer with Troy. As you can see, no Troy, no beer. So I've actually been talking to some beer people in the world, and and they started to you know do vlogs and do uh, podcasts and all those kinds of things during this pandemic, and they're saying. Landon, what kind of equipment do you guys use? And I and I usually laugh a little bit because I, I think they think that we're using like Shure microphones and or a Neumann or and those of you that know what that is care. Those of you that don't know what that is don't really care. So I won't bore you with any of that. But a lot of them want to know what does this space look like that we're working in? Well, it's not, you know, that great. I mean, you can see the color not that great but i do have a lot of beer signs i have some microphones i've got a audio board i've got a tv all kinds of stuff but you don't get to see that on a on any given week so what are we going to do this week i'm going to give you a little tour a little virtual tour of the space that we use for taproom travelers vlog during a normal week during non-covid times and tango is here to join us too so without further ado i'm going to go to my camera over here and show you around all right here we go so as you can see there are all the signs that we have behind us maybe you don't get to see those every week there they are now normally when we have a guest they get to sit on that crack and so that's the running joke whenever you're the person in the middle you get to sit on the crack in between the the bench seats so if they look uncomfortable that's why here are the microphones that we use nothing too special they're actually like I think like $30 specials on B&H so you know not too bad they the sound is pretty good so you can't go wrong with that I think the name brand on it's like toner or something like that it's crazy and so you can see the the table up close a little bit. My wife did the paint job on that. Very proud of that. And then we have just basic umbrella lights. I mean, you can see, you don't get to see that. Oh yeah. Uh, basic umbrellas. So there they are. I, uh, I always hide the, the Kessler sign. So you know, you've never seen that. I can actually see my computer screen from over the table. And then this is my basement, so you actually probably saw the, the couch over there and everything. Uh, this light just got mounted. That's just a bike hook. So we mounted the light up there. It's a little nicer. And then, as you can see, just a basic Nikon camera. And there's what it looks like from way out yonder. Benches that we got from a restaurant in town and uh, they work really good for our purpose. And then over here is the, the, I guess the production area where Alex usually sits. So we just have a, a Behringer uh, audio board, four inputs, XLR cables, and then there's, there's auxiliary inputs too, so we can do phone calls and that kind of thing. I actually just got this computer new, so it's an Asus Vivo book. Got it on DH, pretty good deal on it. The Tascam. So if you watch old Taproom Traveler episodes, that's how we recorded audio way back in the day, and we still use it every now and again. But uh, yeah, that was like the Lazy Monk episode, the very first Lazy Monk episode that we did, and some of those earlier episodes. That was how we recorded our audio. And as a matter of fact, sitting next to it is the old Nikon D3100. And that was the very first Nikon camera made that shot video. And that was what I used to shoot video when we first began. And then of course I, you know, I got a, a different Nikon. This is the Nikon D5300. And it does a little better job and, um, but, you know, and then of course, 
you know, there's the glassware, there's the Muppets, and I've got all kinds of, uh, you know, growlers and mini growlers and all kinds of good stuff like Coors uh, belt buckle. Oh yeah, that's pretty good stuff. <clears throat> and then there's, uh, you know, some beers and some old glassware and stuff. And so that's kind of, kind of the basics of what we do, not real spectacular. And I, I kind of want to, you know, let you guys know that you can do this too. It's, it's not something that, uh, you need a lot of things for. Maybe you need a little expertise in video and audio. Um, but if that's something that you're looking to start and you want to reach out, I'm more than happy to, to give you the whatever secrets that, that we have, and there aren't many, but it is, it just takes a, a little time, a little effort, and that's, that's pretty much it. So, uh, the weather is going to be better this next week. We actually just went through the tropical storm that made it all up to, all the way up to Wisconsin for the first time in like years and years. And I think this is the furth furthest north and furthest west that a tropical storm ever made it. So that's the other reason that we weren't able to go outside and drink beer this week. And then Troy's on assignment, so he's got other stuff going on. But I thought I would just give you a little tour around, see that it's not really that big a deal. Um, I, we love doing it and, uh, and I hope you, you learned a little bit about, uh, how simple our setup is. So, uh, you know, if you have any comments, any questions, go ahead, write them below. We'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, if you have any more ideas about where you want to see us on the outside, uh, write them in the comments below too. And I think we're going to work on a lot of the breweries are opening up here in Wisconsin, so I, I think we're working on finding a place to go and uh, at least be on a patio and, and talk about some beers. So um, that's coming up in the future, too. So I hope all of you are healthy. Hope all of you are enjoying a beer or two every now and again or every day or however often you want to. And uh, for all the rest of the taproom travelers that couldn't be here this week, we will definitely see you next week, and I promise we will have beer. Prost, everybody. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.